What are the top 25 restaurants in Rapid City, South Dakota? Hey everybody, it's Tristan Eamon with Mindful Living Realty, a realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota, the gateway to the Black Hills. So for this list of 25 restaurants, I asked my Facebook friends, hey, what's your favorite restaurant in the area? What didn't surprise me about this list is the number of amazing local restaurants. What did surprise me is the number of unique cuisines in this list. I mean, yeah, I'm kind of a meat and potatoes kind of guy, so Cajun, Jamaican, I don't know what that means but they're in this list. The first 18 restaurants each got one vote, and then the last eight got more than one. Stick around to see the number one favorite restaurant, plus my own personal favorite. All right, for this first bunch, we're gonna start on the west side of town, and we're gonna go east. All these restaurants, they're not in any particular order. They all got mentioned once. So we're gonna start out here, Canyon Lake Drive, Paisano's. Great little place in a little strip mall, pizzas, sandwiches, salads. They've got a, a prime rib sandwich today, I believe. Just sounds amazing. Some Italian food. Certainly a great place to check out on the west side of town. Next, we have Blaze Pizza. There's a, two Blaze locations in town, one in west side Rapid City and one on the east side. I do enjoy the one on west side the most because, hey, it's closer to my office. And what I love most about Blaze is the Thin Christ personal type pizzas. Plus, they've done an amazing job for my wife, who is allergy, egg, and dairy-free, so you can get a pizza for that type of allergy, and they do a good job taking care of us. Moving closer to downtown Rapid City, off Omaha Street, near Office Max, is Faux Vietnam. Not too much on the website here, but you can go down and check out some of the pictures. Obviously, if you're into Vietnam food, look at some of these options for you at Faux Vietnam. Heading on Mowershma Road, we've got Black Hills Bagels. If you're tired of the donut thing, go to Black Hills Bagels. Many different varieties, many options, lots of cream cheese options, plus great coffee. Further up Mowershma Road is the Colonial House. Can you say caramel rolls? But you better get there fast because at Colonial House, those things sell out fast. On top of breakfast, they serve up a great lunch and dinner. Next on the list, on Mount Rushmore Road is Bukujo Ramen. I hope I said that right, but a specialty ramen place that my son just really enjoys. Look at all the different ramen options, as well as some sake and other things like that. Now as we head downtown, Firehouse Brewing Company made the list. I usually like to get a great burger at the Firehouse, Great place to meet up for lunch, and they've got this patio with live music, of course, you know, when it's warm enough. Check out their custom beers and American food. Another popular spot down Main Street is Sabatino's Italian Restaurant. If you're looking for that Italian fling, Sabatino's is the place to go. Delmonico Grill is the downtown steakhouse. If you're looking for that fancy, fine dining experience, the Monaco Grill is the place to go. But don't overlook their lunches. I've been there a few times for lunch, and they have some great options that are really um, very amazing. Just down the street from San Martino's, Independent Ale House. You'll hear this one over and over again. Not only do they have many beers on tap, but their pizzas? A crazy variety that you gotta check out. And don't forget to check out their downstairs area. Really unique experience for enjoying that beer or your pizza. El Navido is a Mexican restaurant in downtown Rapid City. While this restaurant does not have a website, check out this story about a 21 year old wishing to build a restaurant for him and his parents. And last year, that dream came true. El Navido Mexican restaurant. Further east on Omaha Street, near 3rd Street, is the Bestro. Or Bistro? Check out their breakfast, lunch, and if the weather's nice, enjoy that outdoor seating. East of the post office on East St. Joe is Sumo Japanese Kitchen. If you love Japanese food, there's even a place for you to check out in Rapid City. As we head over to Eastside Rapid City, we'll run into Campbell Street Cafe, which is just your traditional cafe with great coffee, fries, burgers, and so many other things. Off East North Street is Sabor a Mexico. This is one of those little places that you might look at and go, I'm not going in there, but they've got some pretty amazing Mexican food as favorited by the locals. Check out all this. Off Interstate 90 in the northeast side of town is Rushmore Crossing. Part of Rushmore Crossing is Mackenzie River. Mackenzie River is known for its pizza, its starters, its flatbreads, and its sandwiches. But don't forget your mud pie dessert.
Also in Rochemont Crossing is another steakhouse, Longhorn Steakhouse. Longhorn has got many different cuts of steaks, as well as chicken, seafood, and salads. Now let's go to the next seven, which got more than one mention, and finish up with the one that got the most mentions in my very scientific local poll. How could you go wrong with Fuji Steakhouse? The whole flipping everything, cooking in front of you experience. They're at Fuji Steakhouse and Sushi Bar. Coming back now west of the town, off of Cross Street is Andy Jamaican Restaurant. I don't even know what Jamaican food is, but it mentioned a couple times, so apparently it's a good place to go. How could you not want to go to a place called the Mud Hole of the Black Hills? You want to go just to see what it's about, right? They're known for their biscuits and gravy near downtown Rapid City. In the Gap is a little restaurant called Juniper, local cuisine. They've got limited hours and a limited menu, but in that limited menu, they strive to source local products for their restaurant. You can't go to Rapid City and not go to Tally's Silver Spoon. I've been there many times for breakfast during networking meetings, but there's so much more here than breakfast. There's even something called the indecision menu. So you walk in, you tell them how many courses you want, and they bring you what they bring you. But look at some of these pictures of some of the fine dining experiences at Tally's. Also downtown is the Kathmandu Bistro, in a historical unassuming location. This is your source for Nepalese, Indian, and Tibetan foods. Now we're going over to the west side of Rapid City, where we're heading south to Louisiana and some Cajun food at Jambone's Do. Did I say that right? I have no idea. They've created the whole southern look and feel here in this restaurant, including hush puppies, oysters, mumbo gumbo, and so many other deep south favorites. Most mentioned favorite restaurant in the Rapid City area, I'd like to plug in one of my favorite restaurants, and that's Murphy's Pub. This is a fantastic place to go to lunch. I love sitting up against the brick wall on the rolly chairs. They've got a fantastic steak salad, a delicious Reuben, cool atmosphere, plus a great outdoor space for eating when it's nice. Number one local favorite restaurant in Rapid City is Himalayan Kitchen. Again, not much here on the website that you can really take a look at, but I've never heard a bad thing spoken about the Himalayan Kitchen. Check out this menu for all the different Indian and Nepalese food here at Himalayan Kitchen. Of course, the links will all be below for all this information. All right, everybody, there we have it. The 25 favorite restaurants by locals in the Rapid City area. What did I miss? Which ones do you think should be on this list? Which ones do you think are on this list that shouldn't be? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Have an amazing day. And remember, love where you live.